Okay, good evening everyone. I'm going to call to order the regularly scheduled meeting of Simsbury Planning Commission. Today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019. I'd like to thank SCTV for recording this meeting. Uh, all who can, please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. We'll take the roll call. Holly Bem. Here. Alan Needham. Here. Elizabeth Burt. Here. Aaron Levitt Smith. Here. Craig McCormack. Here. Rich Cortez. Here. Gary Lungarini. Absent David Bloomy. Absent Bill Rice. Present. Six. Okay, so we have our full complement of regular members tonight. So Elizabeth and uh, Rich. No. Thank you. Well, we're short. No, you're short. One, two, me. three, four, four. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yep, one short. So let's see. Um, Rich, I'm going to go ahead and appoint you as a okay. regular member for tonight's meeting. And Elizabeth will get you next time. Very good. Okay. Now, if we could go to the next item on the agenda, which is approval of minutes of the September 24th, 2019 meeting. Mr. Needham, could you lead us through that, please? Yep. <coughs> okay, looking on page one. So on, on line 12, um, I believe we can remove Bert. I think Elizabeth was absent at that meeting. Is that correct, Elizabeth? Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, it says the same minutes, by the way. What the top? Doesn't say minutes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Regular meeting. Yeah. 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 It should say minutes. I, I hope we put a minute on line one. Oh, yeah, I see. But they, they just put her last name under present, but also right. have it under absent. I believe. Yep. I believe she was absent. No. Okay. You're here the twenty fourth, Elizabeth. Yeah. Are you sure? No. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to strike Bert from line twelve. Rich, you saw something down the bottom of the page. I did. Um, line 45, Sinsbury Plan of Conservation and Development should be capitalized, I believe. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, page two. Page two, um, do, do letters B and C belong under correspondence, or should they be moved off into, under a different heading? So I believe, oh, yeah, <clears throat> it, it, we can probably change correspondence to general commission business. That's what it's on the. Oh, that's why the A's up there. Okay. Good. Right. So, line 51, let's change the word correspondence to general commission well, business. It's, on it's already on line 50. Oh, it's on line 50? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Then, oh, there it is. Okay. Right. So, then maybe. Line 51 is correct. Line 51 is okay. So maybe 68 and 67 is 2 and 3. Yeah. Right, instead of 8, B and C. Or B. Yeah, with no heading. Okay. Okay. Anything else? 
Okay, can we have a motion to approve with the uh, amendments we just discussed? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, so before we leave the, uh, the minutes, we do have an outstanding action on the uh, July, uh, June 11th minutes. And I believe that uh, Robin has given us a copy of those. Yes. And they're revised. I gave you guys a copy of the June 11th minutes. And I went back to the June 25th meeting minutes to see what it is that you were yep. questioning. And it appeared to be surrounded. If you go on page two, in the very last paragraph, it's um, the town engineer's comments. Uh, so I did, it didn't say specifically what it is you were questioning about his comments, but I did listen to the video and I was hoping you guys could tell me what it was that you wanted clarification on. I will tell you just generally the way they were written they didn't match the comments though not as technical obviously as the town engineer explained them um, what he said um, there were some more technical aspects that you know could have been put in there but it, it pretty much matched what he so the comment that I had from the uh, our review of the June 11th minutes was check the recorded or the record for comments on unknowns slash variables remember him saying anything about that yes so that would have been related to let me just go through my notes um, that is related to this groundwater mounding issue yeah. he said there were not enough there was not enough information to fully vet the issue but that he felt the effect would be minimal based on the basin size and that the groundwater elevations were low in this area with plenty of capacity uh, to store groundwater. So he did not think it would impact that part of the design. Is that in the, the revised minutes, Robin? Or no, that's, that's in my notes. notes. Your notes. I brought notes so that I, because I wasn't sure exactly what it was I was looking for. So I just listened to his whole section and wrote notes down. Okay. My word. Yeah, maybe you can. What you just read there, yep. work that into this, okay. and then we'll be good with it. Perfect. Uh, that was, we had gone line by line previously. It was just that section. It was only that okay. section. Okay. So yep. we can move to approve, if somebody wants to do it, the June 11th uh, minutes uh, with Robin swearing that she would make the corrections of the bastard. <laughs> Second. Second. Actually, we need a motion. Oh, okay. So moved. Yeah, I should. One second. Aaron seconds. Okay. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Thank you, Alan. agenda so we have uh, some new business uh, receipt of new applications none, none, none to be had we do have a referral yes. so we have a CGS 8-24 referral from the Board of Selectmen for a permanent access road easement off Ryan Circle so Robin could you just give us a yeah. A summary here. I've read the uh, application. I think I understand what's going on, but maybe you could just uh, go through it. Yep. So um, Eversource actually had a temporary access easement in this area that they used to do some um, clearing work and upgrades. And they've completed all those, and the temporary access easement um, is sort of gone away. But this um, access easement to this particular area of their lines um, gives them direct access where they don't have it now based on topography and um, how they can get in there. So they've asked the board to consider giving them a permanent access easement in that area. 
Um, based on the comments from Maria and Jeff Shea, uh, there were no um, issues with them utilizing that access in a temporary manner to get back there to do maintenance, so they're okay with uh, putting forth a permanent access uh, for them to go through. They do have some, I think, attached was uh, some language that the attorney uh, drew up that mm -hmm. sort of limits when they can go out with the exception of emergencies, obviously, um, as to not be disruptive to abutters. Um, so they're restricting the hours uh, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Fridays for any extensive work. Obviously, in the event of the, an emergency, they would um, be able to access that area. They would install a security gate up for permanent access, but it would allow pedestrian access for people who want to walk the area because um, it is um, a cross-town open space. Um, and they are agreeing to make a contribution to the town of Simsbury in the open space uh, maintenance fund in the amount of $20,000. So this is open, it, it's town land right now? It is now? town land, yeah. Between open those space. two houses? It is, yeah. It's a sliver. Yeah, I can't. So figure. that red line right there. Oh, I didn't see that. Wow. I, I know this uh, area very well because I live three houses away. So I went and actually talked to the abutters. Oh, good. What did yeah. they say? Um, well, um, as you mentioned, they've had temporary access easement uh, for a while. And uh, the two houses on either side, one person on the right side has lived there a number of years. So they're used to the, the trucks coming in and out. The other person just moved there last Sunday. Oh, wow. And okay. didn't even know anything about this. Oh, but okay. um, I also talked to, to the people across the, the street as well. and. They felt that um, you know within those hours it's reasonable. The question is, what does the access gate look like? Good question. I don't know what the because access they, gate they, will look like. They expressed that it should keep in with the character. Also, I noticed, and I don't know if anyone besides me has been to the site, but there are uh, back when this open space was first uh, created, there were two um, rather in interesting stone pillars. Mm -hmm. Uh, that you could walk between, mm -hmm. but I'm guessing it didn't create enough clearance for the trucks because the improved road service with crushed gravel is beside those two stone uh, posts, which looked like you could drive a car through, but okay. it, it appears that where the trucks have gone through is, and I well, it was assume like that's red quite stone, enough. Redstone pillars? Or? Um, not redstone, but some sort stone. of brick or yeah. brick. Uh, yeah, so in the past when the town, I've seen these throughout town, and the only reason I know this is because I asked the question, I would see these random two columns on different um, undeveloped pieces throughout town, so I asked the question what they were for. And back when um, subdivisions would dedicate open space to the town, it was a requirement that they put up the two pillars to kind of indicate that that was open space owned by the town. So that's what those are. That's yeah. what my guess was, but I don't think that's where they're going to put the gate. I think they're going to put the gate right next to it where okay. the crushed gravel is. And I presume that's wide enough to accommodate that. That's my Yeah, they plan on using the same area that they've been yeah. accessing, so that would make sense. Yep. Does so, it look terribly disruptive, Holly? Or? Um, no. Um, it would have looked nicer if it was between the two pillars <laughs> because it looks a little strange to have two pillars and then another area of access and yeah. presumably that's where the gate's going to go. I would agree with that. The two pillars weren't meant to be wide enough to permit vehicular access. It was meant for pedestrian yeah. on all the open space parcels, so it would make sense they did it off to the side. So it's basically a rough roadway with crushed gravel. It, that's exactly what yeah. it is. It's kind of like almost what I would refer to as a construction entrance. You know, it's, okay. it's yeah, sort of fabric like. with so gravel on top of it. So what does it look like from the temporary Access is going to look the same. It will look the same. Okay. So the neighbors are in no worse shape. Than they were. Correct. They just have some traffic when they have to go into maintenance. That's correct. So the gate, you know, could the be, gate will be installed. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so, where will that be? Right on the roadway. That will be close to the roadway. Yes. Usually their gates are. I'm trying to think of one recently in town that I've seen. The only one that comes to mind is the one up by Pembroke Park. 
they have that. If you've seen, at, like right at the entrance to the left, they, oh, they've been yeah, doing a lot like, of work. Like a logging room. Yeah, they have like what I would call a cattle gate. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I'm guessing it would look like. That's purely, I guess, on my yeah. part. Um, so the, the, you think we should like it if it looked nicer? I can right right pass house. that along. The, 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 um, it's right, in, I mean, really abutting. Yeah, yeah. Can we can we put that in? Yeah, we can. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the, nice. the, yeah. the permanent right of way where the power lines are, is, is that uh, accessible by people? You know, can they or is it no trespassing? As far as I know, it's accessible by people. Most CLMP right of ways they allow you to walk on. Mm -hmm. um, if there are some instances like the one we just talked about, um, that CLMP right of way goes over private property, and I know that private. Um, uh, property owners have posted no trespassing, which is their right to do, which means you would have to turn around when you got to a no trespassing sign. All right. So th this this um, permanent access way would would be accessible to the public, right? Okay. By pedestrian, yep. not vehicular. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So they service a power line. Is that running through that meadow? I see there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, exactly. that's all yep. cleared out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it, so, you know, it, it improves access to that area. Mm -hmm. That's just. Uh, As in keeping with <coughs> a past open space um, yeah. parcels, it, it wasn't being used for anything. Yeah, they they gave a piece of land that they between two houses. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a little access road, and then the land behind it is not at a good angle for. Yeah, it's pretty steep. In there. So a buildable lot or not? Mm, uh, that that's mm. well. It's a, Probably not. Not, but it's not that it's, it's it's a moot point at this point anyway. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's a build one. I put a Google Earth there. In looking at the Google Earth picture, it looks like it would be feasible to just move one of the skylines over and build a gate into that. Oh, that would be very nice. That way, it won't disrupt too much there, and see if there's a gate that would be more appropriate than the cattle gate. Yeah, we can make that right. I don't know how tall they are, like from like from a gate height. Oh, the, yeah, the, the pillars wouldn't be able to support the gate, but yeah. if they can install it right behind, I think that would okay. probably do yeah. go a long way towards making it look like it belongs there. A little better. Yeah. Thank you. That would be nice. Yeah. And those are those are attractive, as, as you call them, final ones. Mm -hmm. Very attractive. Okay. So I want to make a motion. Okay. I'll move. Uh, okay, if we uh, accept this, uh, send a positive referral for the um, uh, uh, electric uh, ever source um, permanent uh, for the easement for um, permanent access, uh, with the stipulation that the um, the pylons be moved into position to the access road and the gate be uh, uh, placed behind those pylons. Uh, in keeping with the neighborhood, in, in a design that keeps with the neighborhood. So that, that would be a recommendation. Yeah. Oh, okay. As opposed yeah. to a stipulation. So that's going to say. Right. Oh, right. oh. Instead of a requirement, it's a request. Mm -hmm. so recommendation, yeah. A recommendation. Because we can't do otherwise. Right, because we, okay. can't. we, don't, we don't have the authority. Yeah. We don't have the second that. Okay, we have a motion to uh, return a positive referral with the recommendation to move the pylons and place the gate either between or somewhere in the vicinity of those pylons and a gate uh, to be of a design consistent with the neighborhood. Right. And oh, I, I meant to say the pylons should um, be on either side of the access, which means you're probably going to have to move. You can say the gate be flanked. Thank you. <laughs> but also that the, the pylons should be flanking the access road as well. Because right now the pylons are here and their access appears to be next to the pylons. Okay. Okay, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, say nay. Any abstentions, please say abstain. Motion carries unanimously. Very good. Okay. On we go. General Commission business. Um, any correspondence to no share correspondence. with us, Robin? No. no. 
Okay, we do have the proposed 2020 Planning Commission meeting calendar. Um, I have a couple comments. In July, did it get over oh, there? Yeah, in July, I think, unless I looked at the wrong calendar, the Tuesdays are the 14th and the 28th instead of the 13th and 27th. Let's just confirm that. 14th and 28th, yep, that's what I have. Okay. <coughs> And then I'm not sure what was intended for August. Um, it, looks, it looks like one meeting. Uh, however, uh, usually we, we don't have any meetings in August, so I would suggest that we, we have no meetings in August again. Okay. We, um, so, yeah, so what we had the staff do, we were asked um, by the Economic Development Commission to try to have at least one meeting of our land use boards in August just to move business along, and then if it wasn't needed, to cancel it. Oh, okay. So that's why we put one date on the calendars, but we can take it off if you guys no, want. And no. It's easier to cancel the meeting than to have a special meeting. Yeah. All right, so that would be the... the uh, but if you guys would prefer to have it the 11th over the 25th, we can adjust that. So It'll be easier at the end because that's when school's starting okay. and everyone's got to get home yeah. anyway. Okay, yeah. 25th. Otherwise, I saw, uh, I have no further comments. Anyone? Anything else? All right, so I move that we uh, approve the uh, amend or the revised planning commission proposed uh, meeting calendar. Second. Second. Seconded by Aaron. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. All right. That brings us to the end of our agenda. Um, so, Robin, you noted to uh, add an item for Rich next meeting. Okay. He'll give us a report on the uh, sustainability committee. That yep. is. And things we can do over the next year to get us some more points. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Anything else, commissioners? Okay. Only one left. One thing left to do. <laughs> I move that we adjourn the meeting. Second. Motion to adjourn a meeting. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. The meeting is adjourned. You guys are Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.